In the first video, we updated the radio electronics to a 90 watt amplifier and we added a Raspberry Pi to simulate radio stations. Now we're going to finalize this project by putting it back into its original cabinet. This is what the back side of the cabinet looks like. It was obviously made all by wood and there's plenty of room for this radio. There's even a piece of paper stuck to the side that tells you the tube replacement part numbers. And finally, the Philco H30 10 and a half inch speaker. My next task is to replace the speaker with updated ones. This is the first time in almost 80 years that anyone has ever seen the other side of this speaker. Wow. All I had to do now was mount my new six and a half speakers. But comparing them to the old speaker, I felt a little inadequate. So I decided to upgrade to eight inch speakers. Amazingly, you can get these speakers on Amazon for only $25. All I had to do now was create a new speaker mount. Cool! I really like the new fabric I picked out too. All I have to do now is mount the new 8 inch speakers and I'll be almost done. Final steps are installing the faceplate and finally install the radio knobs. Except I didn't have the original ones so I had to print out new ones. I think these turned out pretty well and if you like them you could download them yourself at Thingiverse with this Thing ID. That's it! All done! I'm really happy to give this radio some new life. Now let's see it work. So right now we're just playing music off of YouTube with the Bluetooth, and that's with the dial all the way to the left side. When it's in that mode, the tuner doesn't do anything, it's not active. You could turn it and obviously it doesn't change MP3s because it's playing Bluetooth. But when we change the dial to the right, we go into the 1930s. And there we go, suddenly this radio is playing music from the 30s and 40s. Pretty cool. Also, the tuner works. So if you tune out of phase, you start to hear static until you tune in your next radio station. And it's really just going to the next MP3 after that. And I love that it's then we have the 40s. And we have the Christmas music. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? And finally, we have Orson Welles' War of Worlds. Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the Air in The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Then, of course, we could always go back to Bluetooth. The 90 watt amplifier in here gets really loud, especially with these two eights. That's more bass coming out of this cabinet than it's ever seen. One thing I want to point out about the power button is that the Raspberry Pi always stays on, even when the power button's off. That's because when I want to turn this on, all the Raspberry Pi has to do is turn on the amp and the lights and everything is up and running. That way I don't have to wait for Raspbian to boot up. Still, the thing I like best about this radio is... Ugh. Man, this thing's a tank. Ugh. What's behind it? I really like that you could look behind the radio and still see all the original equipment. This way the radio can continue working into the future while keeping its Philco heritage. So I built this radio for my sister. Basically all I have to do now is take this back out and then we could deliver it to her house. And, ugh, it's out. Good gosh this thing's heavy. My sister owns a house built in the late 1800s and this radio will go perfect with her decor. I think she'll have as much fun with it as I did building it. Let's go!
Gotta get that on camera. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. It was a lot of fun. If you have any comments or questions, please write them below or email me at jasonaltis at codemixitgo. Thanks.